What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, my construction entrepreneurs? Tyrone Jones here with the Construction Entrepreneur School of Services. Dude, I've been like busy out of my mind. Not out of my mind, but anyway, anyway. I had I had somebody call me, I had someone call me the other day and it was like, man, Tyrone, how you doing, man? Uh uh. Uh, what's going on, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. It's like, man, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. He was like, man, be careful, man. Don't say that, man. The Lord might just call you home. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not that tired, no. Not that tired. But anyway, um, busy, great time to be a contractor. Some of you out there are 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 feeling the love, you know, and, and getting to work and, and, and everything is going good. But it's a great time to be a contractor. I tell you right now, if you're on the fence, you definitely want to make the move and become a contractor uh, and stop. I, I think on average, it takes a person about three to six months to decide to really pull the trigger to become a contractor. That means, you know, sign up with a school or buy materials and really take that step to where you're moving forward. It takes people three to six months. What I'm saying is that you need to do it now before the rules get even tighter, before the regulations come down even shorter, okay? You need to do it now. It's the best time to get in. Um, that way you get in now before things get a little bit more crazy because the board is coming down with more rules and more regulations. Uh, a video is coming on that about the new rules and regulations that the board is coming down with that affects us here in California as contractors. And we already know, you know, contract, uh, uh, California kind of holds a standard uh, uh, in, within a lot of areas, New York does too. Um, and they all kind of follow each other uh, if things are working. You know, so eventually, if you're not in California, it's going to be where you're at, okay? As long as it's working in California, working in New York, working in these lot of, lot larger states, busier states, then a lot of other states are going to uh, adapt to these new rules and regulations. Um, so let's talk about this. Um, how do you get busy? Or, or how do I find work as a new contractor? Like, where, where do I look for this stuff at, you know? Um, uh, um, I, you know, there's a lot of contractors out there that have their license and worried about, you know, have their license, working at a nine to five and eager to get in to start doing their own work, but can't, can't find the work, hesitant on, uh, on making that jump to even start a job. You don't have to leave your job, but hesitant on even starting their first project or, uh, or you, you know, you got your feet wet and you're like, Hey, how do I grow this thing to where I can leave this nine to five? You know, um, I already did a video on, you know, knowing when to leave your nine to five. Okay. And then the things that I did to, to, for me to leave my nine to five, because I, there was a time when I had to do it too. Okay. So watch that video. But, um, um, you know, once you get your license, right, we, we already don't have a whole lot of money, right? Uh, you're fortunate enough. If you have a credit card, I was able to get a credit card when I first, uh, got my license. Um, I think it was bank of America gave me like 14 racks, right? 14. I was like, dude, I'm successful. I had a credit card with 14 in on it. I was like, I'm successful. You can't, you know. And I literally started spending, I started spending that money on things that would not produce a return. When you start spending money that you get, that's credit, that, that's borrowed money on things that's not, that won't get you an ROI, you got to pay that back, right? So if it's not going to produce a return, now if it produces a return, that return pays for what you spent, okay? And and hopefully you got a little got a little meat on there where you got a little a little bit more extra, right? But if you start spending on things that doesn't produce a return, now that money needs to come out of somewhere to pay that money back. And that was a mistake that I made. I started getting things that did not produce a return. And um and I got into debt real fast. So you want to be careful with that if you do have the opportunity to do have a credit card when you're first starting out. You always want to put it toward things. Don't pay yourself. Don't, you know, that doesn't produce a return. Uh, 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 stop buying these little um, 
these little things that, that's not going to do anything to, to bring in any extra money, okay? Uh, any extra tools that you just wanted to have that's not going to help you complete a job, get a job done. Um, um, you got to be wise with it and spend it on the things that's going to produce, you know? Uh, maybe a, a website that's going to send you leads that you're going to be serious about, you know? Uh, so you got a lot more options if you got some cash. You just want to be careful and consult with someone on the best, you know, the best the best way to spin that because you don't want to just blow this thing and then you're in debt and then you know they bugging you see that's the thing we we're going to get in debt but you want to have debt to where you you know because you got to do debt management uh you don't have to pay everything off all at once but doing debt management helps you keep saving okay helps you not have to stress and worry because when you got debt and debt you know, all over the place and people calling you, worried about, you know, this, that, you know, it, it throws you off your game as well, right? You're not able to spread that stuff out and, and, and you'd be amazed on how that affects you. We got enough stressful stuff to deal with as contractors already. So, so, so you got to be careful how you move that money, what you spend that money on, okay? If you have some issues, you, you want some insight, give me a call. You ain't got to follow everything that I, that I, that I mentioned to you, but it all depends on where you want to go, what type of work you want to do, and what type of equipment you need to get that work done efficiently, okay? Uh, uh, you don't have to buy everything that you need right now to where you zero that bad boy out, because I bet that bad boy is going to be high interest already. So you need to be able to, you know, continue to, to make that a revolving door where you can use that money uh, uh, when, whenever, you, whenever you need it. Okay, um, so if you got access to money, you got a credit card, then that's great. You're in a different position than everyone else. You can kind of, uh, 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 you know, buy subscriptions where you can get leads. You got that option. You can, um, you know, buy equipment, you know, uh, kind of put a down payment on equipment, trailers, trucks, so you can get into different areas of work, uh, especially if you already got jobs lined up. That would, that's a, that's a good deal. Um, and it's a beautiful morning, man. It really is. Um, you uh, so so you if you got money, then you got a little bit more options. So let's get on the ones that don't have no money. That just like, hey, man, I'm I'm already living paycheck to paycheck. What what do I do? So here in California, I don't know about every other state because I haven't looked. On